What up, Button Mashers, and welcome to a retro run of Deus Ex. Deus Ex is the godfather sci-fi uh, first-person shooter RPG uh, that came out in, originally in 2000. Um, it was basically accredited as this groundbreaking uh, game where... You, it was the first first-person shooter that taught us you didn't need to actually shoot everything you saw. Prior to that, it had basically just been things like Doom or Wolfenstein, where if you saw it, you shot it. Uh, developed by Ion Storm and published by Idios Interactive, it was directed by Warren Spector and uh, designers... Uh, and designed by uh, Harvey Smith. Uh, programmed by Chris Norton. And I'm just reading the wiki page here, basically. Um, but I've, uh, you know, I've caught, I've caught a lot of uh, people who just, you know, over the years who have been like, oh, Deus Ex, that was a huge part. You know, one of the, the headliner games of, of gaming youth. So let's just jump right into it. Uh, we take on the role of uh, a like a, a, a J.C. Denton. He's a counter-terrorist agent, like cyber counter-terrorist agent. And we're just going to play on medium because, you know. Yeah, J.C. Denton, code name. Code name. Let's see. Can I, can I fix the... Can I do this? No, real name J.C. No, real name is cool. We can do J.C. Denton. That's, uh, oh no, uh, real name, the Jim. Oh, come on, there we go. And uh, let's see, let's do. Uh, okay, so we're trained in pistols. We have five thousand skill points. Uh, let's be, let's be trained in computers. And let's be trained in rifles, because I like to like to have uh, a little bit of options there. Let's be trained in lockpicking. Uh, environmental training? What is environmental training? Hazmat, ballistic armor, uh, thermoptic camo, and rebreathers. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Environmental training. Oh, wait, no. We don't have the XP for it. Um, we don't have the XP for anything else. So, pistols, rifles, computers, and lockpicking. I'm pretty sure that's just gonna... Yeah, uh, read bulletins and news. Uh, can hack ATMs, computers, and security consoles. Okay, that's fine by me. We'll get more XP as time goes on, I'm sure. Let's see. Let's change our appearance. What can we what can we do? Um Okay, so that guy. That guy's a badass. Wait, 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 what had what just happened? No no no. Look at that. And we got the like freaking uh, hardcore scar over the eye. We're totally that guy. That's happening. Also, the mouse is all over the place because... Your appointment to FEMA should be finalized within the week. I have already discussed the matter with the Senator. I take it he was agreeable. He didn't really have a choice. Has he been infected? Oh yes, most certainly. When I mentioned that we could put him on the priority list for the Ambrosia vaccine, he was so willing it was almost perfect. This play, the rioting is intensifying to the point where we may not be able to contain it. Why contain it? Let it spill over to the schools and churches. Let the bodies pile up in the streets. In the end, they'll beg us to save them. I've received reports of armed attacks on shipments. There's not enough vaccine to go around, and the underclasses are starting to get desperate. Of course they're desperate. They can smell their death, and the sound they'll make rattling their cage will serve as a warning to the rest. Mm -hmm. I hope you're not underestimating the problem. The others may not go as quietly as you think. Intelligence indicates they're behind the problems in Paris. A bunch of pretentious old men playing at running the world. The world left them behind long ago. We are the future. We have other problems. You not go. Formed by executive order after the terrorist strike on the statue. I have someone in place, though. I'm more concerned about Savage. 
is relocated to Vandenberg. Our biochem corpus is far in advance of theirs, as is our electronic sentience, and their ethical inflexibility has allowed us to make progress in areas they refuse to consider. The augmentation project. Among other things, but I must admit that I have been somewhat disappointed in the performance of the primary unit. The secondary unit should be online soon. It's currently undergoing preparation and will be operational within six months. My people will continue to report on its progress. We've had to endure much, you and I, but soon there will be order again. Not better than kings. Gods. That voice acting, though. Wow. Um... So... Heads up, JC. Paul is on his way to meet you at the dock. The NSF is raiding the island and shots have been fired. I repeat, find Paul. I will monitor your situation from HQ. Suck it, crates. I know what to do. Paul, I thought you were in Hong Kong. Welcome to the Coalition, JC. I might as well start using your code name. Think I'd miss my brother's first day? Didn't think you'd have a choice. What's going on? The NSF. They hit one of our shipments. A few of them got away, but we trapped the rest in the statue. What are we waiting for? Looks like a textbook assault. The NSF took one of our agents hostage. The bots are holding the perimeter, but my orders are to hold back and send you in alone. I think someone high up wants to see how you handle the situation. All I've got with me is a pistol and an electric prod. I don't mind a test, but you and I could better issue some hardware. Remember that we're police. Stick with the prod. It'll stun your opponents or knock them unconscious. A non-lethal takedown is always the most silent way to eliminate resistance. Just in case, though, Manderly wants you to pick an additional weapon. A sniper rifle, a gap gun, or a mini crossbow. Oh, it's sniper rifle all the way. Uh... I like to pick him off from a distance. I'll take the rifle. This isn't a training exercise, JC. Your targets will be human beings. Keep that in mind. I get the idea. What's the first move? I'm going to give you a map of the island. If you can get to the North Dock, a UNATCO informant will give you a key to the statue doors. He responds to the code phrase, iron and copper. You could avoid a lot of fighting, though, if you found a back way to the statue. I'll see how it looks on shore. Your primary objective is the makeshift command center the terrorists have installed at the top of the statue. But don't forget about Agent Harriman. We think he's being held on the ground floor. What are my orders when I reach the command center? Interrogate the leader. We don't yet know why the terrorists would risk an open assault. Okay. Lockpick. Yes. Um, okay. So, first things first. Let's, uh... Let's rearrange so th this a little bit here. Let's put that as number two. That is that. Uh, four. Uh, binoculars. If I need the binoculars, I'll switch to them. There we go. Alright, so yeah, like, we got this nice little square-based inventory system. Uh, you can check your health. Augs. Let's see, I've got default Augs. What is this? IFF. Okay, so I can tell who my friend and foe is. Uh, info link. One of the tracker trans It allows you agents in the field to receive messages from control, yada, yada, yada. That's my ability to talk to people, basically. Uh, skills, goals, conversations, oh, okay, so I can go back to previous conversations and stuff like that, that's nice, that's nice, that, that, see, this is something that some more modern games need, is the ability, like, to go back and catch stuff you missed, um, yeah, some games have it, I guess, others, not so much, anyway, but yeah, um... NSF everywhere, JC. Your orders are to shoot on sight. Are you not going informant on the north dock to catch you inside the statue? What Look for a bomb. Identify yourself with the phrase, iron and copper. Alright, so these guys are the good guys If you guys want to make a covert here. approach, remember the Academy Stealth Course. Stay out of their field of view. Walk slowly to stay quiet. Get your hands 
dirty. Remember that a headshot is a lethal takedown. Whoa. Wait, uh... Well, that's him. He's a cop. Not even screwing around, they just jump you right into it. Alright. Reload here. Good grief. Alright. Can I get up here? No. Huh. So yeah, like you can pick up stuff and manipulate it around and whatnot. Let's see. Let's uh, get down here. What did you have for me? Gas grenade. Okay, cool. Um. Okay, I can hold how many charges in this thing? Four. Okay. That guy's down there. Those guys are down there, I should say. Let's see if I can avoid them, though, by going this way. Boom, boom, boom. Pepper. Okay, there's a TNT crates there. So, yeah, like... <laughs> this super simple, like, level design and stuff like that, that you just don't see anymore, you know? I mean, obviously... They were constrained by the the what they were uh, the hardware of the time. Um, can I go that way? I mean, I gotta get up to the statue somehow, right? Where is guy? Is there? All right. So yeah, there's like for some reason my mouse is just all over the place with this game. Which is okay, I guess. Put that away. Can I can I put that away? Yeah, okay. I just can't put it away and hold my crouch button at the same time, apparently. Whoa, hello. Alright, so what's going on over there? So those neither of those guys are friendly. None of these guys are friendly. <coughs> yeah. Oh, really? Yeah? Uh -huh hum Whoa. Let me see if I can... There we go. Little bit of turn down on the mouse sensitivity there. Excellent. Working just fine. As intended. So yeah, like, these dark spots right here and stuff like that, apparently those help hide you as well, just staying in the shadows. And this is, you know, uh, like like I said, this was like the first first-person shooter where you didn't just shoot your way into everything and it had multiple options as to stuff to do and you know, I'm thinking that's probably my you know multiple routes in and out of scenarios and the ability to there's just like role playing elements in the first person shooter and it was the first to do that um, which is you know probably what made it such a huge success for people um, you know it's <laughs> Like, I mean, think about think about your modern games. There are role-playing elements in just about every last one of them these days. Uh, Level-up mechanics and, you know, multiple speech options. And things of that nature. You just find them in games left, right, and center these days. And this was, like, the first first-person shooter to ever do that. Um... Uh, is there... Okay, alright. Let's... Let's do this. Whoa. Wait. 
Oh my, good gravy. Also, uh, up the ladder, onto the box, get, get on the box. All right, well, let's go. Uh, let's grab this, put it down over there, jump on this, like, But yeah, uh, I mean, also, it's very, like, cyberpunky in its setting. I mean, look at the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, she was pretty in her day, huh? Oh, man. Sad shape, sad shape. Also, super, like, mustache-twirling bad guy at the beginning. I appreciate that. I like a, a good, uh melodramatic character. Man thinks he's gonna make a god of himself. J.C. Denton's gonna take him down. Agent Jim, codename J.C. Denton. The biggest badass ever recruited by the UNAC something or other United Nations. Their name is unimportant. What is important is this guy. He's a badass. Creeping past all of these figures like a shadow in the night. Infiltrating Liberty Island like a badass. All right, you gonna you just gonna stare this way? Okay. So yeah, all the guys in brown here are like these uh, rebel like types. They're basically, uh, by the description, kind of like guys who wanna start who who think that the United States is uh, ready for a, a second revolution or some crap like that. I forget the exact description of what they're uh, of what they're doing, like their ideology and stuff like that. But they're basically anti, you know, anti-government bad guy terrorist cell, <laughs> you know, kind of kind of people there. Um. Okay. Well, this this looks like it's probably. Ooh. Yeah, tried to, tried to trap me. Fortunately, Agent J.C. Denton's on the case. On these masks. Ooh, ooh. Can I creep past you? <laughs> ha. And I'm in. Control. This is Agent Badass. I've infiltrated the building. I'm on my way in. The to Whoa! Whoa, hello, auto turret. I see you. Also, what is that noise? Oh, hello. Oh, it's a camera. Cameras do things like trigger defenses. That's what that noise is, is a freaking camera. Can I turn you off? It's secure. Okay, so bypass strength can take me one tool. Uh, do I have like a multi tool or something to use on it? I. Don't. What is, what is that? Candy bar? Candy bar. Alright. Uh, coughing nails. We've just got to have a cigarette. Okay. Alright. Um. I'm thinking I may have to just. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Like, the lockpicks aren't gonna do anything. I may have to just, like, smash this thing. What was that? Base damage. Versus, oh. Hmm. Interesting. You are my new crowbar. Wait, hold on. You are my new crowbar. 
Crowbar, stay in the inventory. Nobody loves you. Alright. So... We're gonna go five. And we're gonna smack us a camera. Really? Okay. Apparently I just gotta make a break for it. Here. And... Go! Is someone there? Oh man. Oh man. All clear. Oh, all clear. All clear indeed. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'm in. I swear I heard something. Agent Badass has infiltrated the building. He's on his way to clean up this town. Forget it. I was hearing So. <laughs> Feel free to like, subscribe, share, all that helps me, helps the channel. And uh, if you'd like to support me directly, please do so on Patreon. Link's in the description down below. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one. Agent Badass signing off.